In the section on painting tips, there is an entry you will find called making your own viewfinder. And uh, I showed you this little gadget here, which is just basically a cutout from some paper, which is a bit tatty, but I use it for framing uh, a view uh, as an alternative, a slightly more accurate view than doing, you know, doing holding up your fingers in this kind of fashion. Well, since then, I have come up with another idea and found an interesting product as well, which I'd like to tell you about. Um, the second idea I've come out with is this one, which is an old 35 millimeter film frame uh, in plastic. I'm sure many of you have got those uh, somewhere in the loft in a box like I had. And uh, if I just bring that a little bit closer to you, you can see that it serves much the same function. You can hold it up to your eye and you can use it to frame a view. However, um, I found something which is very much better and here it is on the screen behind me. It's called the View Catcher. Now it costs a few pounds. It was, um, I don't know, about four pounds. How many? Well, was, what's that? Three dollars, something like that. Might have been a little bit more, but honestly, it was not very much at all. And I really do recommend you get one of these. <clears throat> For the sake of the small price, it's much better. For a start off, it's got a sliding mechanism so you can infinitely adjust from square to a really thin format. I used it for doing a thin format painting recently. Um, on location, I could just hold it up and slide the sliding mechanism up and down until I'd just got framed the right kind of proportions that I wanted. Really simple. And there's another nice little additional thing it's got, which is a hole in the middle of the sliding part. And that is quite good for holding up against a subject to isolate uh, a colour, because uh, it's sometimes quite difficult when you see a pure colour or a shade of a colour or a tint and it's adjacent to other brighter colours in particular, it's difficult to actually isolate and identify and mix the exact colour that you want. And having this little hole in the middle is really quite a nice idea. So two things covered in one item, a colour isolator and a viewfinder as well go get one. I'm not being paid to say this. In fact, I'm not too sure where I got this particular product from, but I'm sure if you Google it in, view catcher, you'll find it very easily.